Hi ladies, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Matt Schaefer, your empowerment, connection, and relationship coach. So happy to have you back here with me again. Uh, this is my passion and I am so grateful to be able to serve women in creating deeper, more fulfilling relationships and connections with, with men and with each other and with ourselves. That's what life is all about, right? So that's what I'm committed to and that's what this video is going to be designed about. And this video that we're doing, that I'm doing today, is going to be all about confrontation. Confrontation and fighting in relationship, right? Because whether we like it or not, confrontation is a part of being in relationship and having disagreements and how we manage that is critical to the success of our relationship. So we're going to unpack that a little bit today. I'm going to give you a tool. I'm going to give you a rule that's going to help you uh, really transform the way that you have disagreements in relationship so that instead of really crippling a relationship or harming it or ending it, they can actually make it stronger. So that's, that's what I'm going to share with you. I'm going to give you a tool that I've created that's going to really help you do that, okay? So uh, before I dig into it, take a second, uh, hit that little subscribe button, hit the little bell, make sure you get notified on all my upcoming videos. I'm putting out new content on my channel every week, and I want you to know when it's coming out, all right? So uh, let's dive into this, right? So as I was saying earlier, and as I'm sure you all know, conflict and confrontation is a part of any healthy relationship, believe it or not. Because here's the thing, if you're in a relationship that has no conflict and no confrontation, that's probably because one or both of you are avoiding owning your voice and standing for what you need and what you want. Because if two people are both coming into a relationship and uh, you know holding their own in that relationship, inevitably, there's going to be a time where your interests and your needs and your wants don't match up exactly with your partner. And so that's all that a confrontation is, right? That's all that it is, is when your needs and your partner's needs are just on two different wavelengths for a little bit. So what's important is that, not that you guys ended up on two different wavelengths, that happens, that's human beings, right? But that you guys manage to come back to the same wavelength eventually. So here's oftentimes what happens, right? If two partners get into a conflict, they get into a confrontation, and then there's a there's a blow up right there's a blow up they're on two different wavelengths and phew, there's an initial fight right and so after that happens right what what tends to happen there's a couple different things that can happen right uh, and one something that i notice a lot of a lot of clients a lot of the women i work with have a tendency to want to do is they want to sweep it under the rug rather than really work through it and look at what caused this misalignment to happen, they're okay with just sort of like trying to pretend like, okay, well, that was no big deal. Let's just get back to normal. And they wanna get back to normal without really addressing what was at the root cause of the incongruency. So if here's the thing, if we don't address the root cause of how you two ended up on two different wavelengths, then we don't ever reconcile, right? We just ignore the difference, you know? We just ignore the fact that, that things are out of alignment. And what's dangerous about that is that if people stay out of alignment, you know, resentment builds up. If we don't address the core cause of a fight, the fact that you don't feel like your needs are being met in relationship or that your voice matters, uh, you don't agree with the way that he treated you, if you don't address those underlying causes, those underlying things, it leads to resentment and it can lead to distancing. It's kind of like uh, if ter it's like there's termites, right, in the structure of your relationship. And if you don't address them and root them out and get them out, those termites end up eating up the whole thing <laughs> and they end up collapsing the structure of the relationship, right? So what we get to do instead is we get to, we get to have a constructive confrontation, okay? So in the moment when you're having that fight, you're having a fight, right? People's tempers are flaring, projection is happening, egos are up, walls are up, tempers are up. That is not the time to try to fix anything, okay? This isn't about fixing, but that is not the time to try to reconcile this and bring you guys onto the same wavelength. You're allowed to be in a fight. You're allowed to be on two different pages, okay? And then you guys are going to separate, right? You're going to go your separate ways or you're going to go to bed and maybe you're a little, you know, angry with each other. That's okay. It's okay, but you gotta have, you gotta put a rule in place to not let it get too far away before you 
deal and address and manage that situation, right? You want to have a constructive dialogue with, with, with your partner about it. And this is the rule that's going to help you get there. This is the 24 hour rule. Okay, so the 24 hour rule that I've created for my clients basically states that within 24 hours of you two having a fight and being out of alignment, you have a deep connected conversation within a 24 hour period. Once you two are cooled down and you're out of that initial reactionary space of the fight, you have a deep connected conversation from a cool down grounded space on what happened, right? And what you both can learn from it and what you two are committed going forward so that it doesn't happen again. Within 24 hours, at a time that's reasonable for both of you, you address this, you speak your side, you hold space for your partner to speak his side, and you two come back into understanding and back into alignment. Because so often these fights happen when there's a lack of understanding of the other partner's perspective. Right? Either he doesn't understand your perspective or you don't understand his. And you both get so committed to your space that the whole thing blows up. So when you have so as, but when you want to have this conversation within 24 hours of the initial fight, right? Because that's when things are still fresh. Because once we get past 24 hours, it gets a lot easier to just suppress and just to allow things to stay on two different on two different pages, you know? And that's dangerous. You do not want to have unreconciled, unresolved conflict in relationship because that leads to the rot. That leads to that uh, termite damage <laughs> that I was talking about and that structural deterioration of the relationship, which is going to inevitably, if it doesn't get addressed, it will collapse the whole thing from one side to the other side. So, you know, you're avoiding the short-term discomfort at the long-term cost of the relationship. So it's not worth it. So institute some variation on that. A 24-hour rule or a 36-hour rule, just before it's been too long, y'all get to sit down in a grounded, com comfortable space, right? At a time that works for both of you. Don't wait till he's half asleep in bed. Do it at a time when you get, it works for both of you and have a grounded, connected conversation on uh, your side on your perspective of what happened. And then you hold space for him to share his side. And then you two reach a, like a common understanding of what happened, what the breakdown was, what you both get to learn from it, and the commitment you both get to make moving forward to ensure that at least this fight doesn't happen again. That's how, and just to like bring this whole thing back around for you here at the end, that is how we have a constructive conflict because fights don't have to mean that a relationship is something's wrong, right? Fights and confrontation and argument and conflict can actually make a relationship much stronger because it can be a great tool and a catalyst for growth and understanding of each other because it means that you two are both, you know, brave enough to hold your own frame uh, in the face of conflict with each other. Okay, so don't let conflict and, and, and arguments and disagreements undermine your relationship or even worse, cause to rot it out from the inside. Stand in the fire, right? And, and, and allow yourself to have a brave dialogue within 24 to 36 hours with your partner. Have a 24 hour rule and your relationship will be stronger for every fight and every conflict that you have. So I hope this resonated with you. Uh, take a second, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, and uh, I will see you next time on my YouTube channel. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.